Good evening. Uh, this is the Bolong Fenyo uh, in Gunju, the Gambia. Um, this is a, a protected um, a nature reserve uh, that has actually been in existence for over 20 years. Um, recently, it has actually gone under uh, environmental pollution as a result of a fish mill company called the Golden Leaf that is operating in uh, Gunju. Now, uh, these pictures, some of these pictures were taken 18 months ago. And if you see how uh, lovely green the, the area surrounding it and the, um, the actual water, the actual water, how uh, lovely it looks. Um, fast forward uh, a couple of years later, um, the subscription photos and videos that you will see uh, suggest uh, some serious, serious environmental damage that has occurred to this uh, lagoon, uh, locally known as Bolong Fenyo. Uh, the company that's actually um, accused of or has been held responsible for the this really, really ugly sight that you see um, resulted from the company connecting. Uh, Pipe uh, from the production site uh, into the lagoon to actually empty the industrial waste that has resulted not only um, killing aquatic life in the pond or in the bottom of um, but has actually um, affected the, the fauna and fauna. Uh, you can see um, further down the companies. Is to see, and that's where the uh, the pipe has been connected to come and empty the waste into the lagoon. Prior to this uh, company operating here, um, people have come from all over the world to come and look at the, the, the birds, um, the crocodiles, and all the other um, creatures that are in this um, protected site. But as you can see, as a result of the industrial waste being pumped into the lagoon, um, the lagoon has actually undergone coloration, um, the color changing into red uh, and then to white. Uh, and you can see the vegetation around it is actually dying or have already dead. They're already dead. Um, as a result of this, um, some locals that have used this place for fishing. Um, have actually recently uh, been tested and they have contracted uh, what we call contact uh, dermatologists. Um, one of the, uh, the, the, the pictures you see, the guy has been fishing in this place for over 30 years and this has never happened to his skin and uh, there's reason to believe that uh, the water that's actually um, the, 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 the guy is fishing is, is actually contaminated um, as a result of the uh, skin condition you can see. Um, uh, the company is um, saying they are uh, obviously, you know, they, they, they value the environment, the community they operate, but how can we trust them if they are actually putting measures to actually make sure the environment where they operate um, is, is protected and free from this environmental uh, pollution that's actually currently going ahead. Um, the request is simple. Um, uh, introduce proper waste management system or stop operations completely. But can we trust this company? Um, they have violated every uh, environmental law within the country. Um, as a result of that, um, there's currently a court case um, at the Bricama Magistrate Court um, that by uh, virtue of uh, National Environment Agency uh, dragging the company to court for breaking or for being breach of uh, environmental law. As a result, the Gunju Development Forum or the Gunju Development Forum um, will do everything within our powers to ensure that the, the environment that we, you know, we find ourselves, our families uh, are living, our children are growing up, is protected and free from uh, future damage uh, to the environment where we call home. Thank you very much.